Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy, Sorcery, back with another video. In today's video, guys, I've got an amazing video for you. And this video is to TPA accept and TPA request. As you guys can see, so we can TPA to people on a faction server. Um, so as you guys can see, I'm on Reapland Factions right now. So if I just drop a TPA here, and then go over here and uh, throw down an accept, then you will see that it will count down from free. And it will TP me to the piece of paper over there. So there we go, guys. As you can see, I just TP'd here. So let's go and show you down in the command room how I am doing that. So it's pretty simple. We are using a little bit of redstone here. Um, and we are using uh, a few command blocks. But don't worry. I will go through every single one of these and how to do it. So guys, if we throw down here, as you can see, that, that one will turn on. And if we throw down and accept, that one will also turn on. And that's when this turns on the uh, the uh, chain. So as you guys see, if we do this, it will turn on the chain. So guys, what we've got here is we've got in this one, we have got a block type repeat. Condition is unconditional. The red zone is always active. It's on execute on first tick. And the delay in ticks is 10 ticks, which is half a second. Then guys, for the command input, we've got test for space at E. Open square bracket, name equals, and then we've got quotation marks, TPA accept channel 1, and that is this one right here, as you can see, TPA accept channel 1, and then for the TPA here channel 1, we've got it also here as well, we've got the block type repeat, the condition is unconditional, the redstone is always active, it's execute on first tick, the lane ticks is 10, and then the command input, we've got test for at E, name equals TPA here one in square brackets and quotation marks. So that is how you get them to register to be turned on. And now guys, we've got comparators here testing for a valid output. So when this gets a positive output or a valid outcome, it will give a pulse to this redstone comparator. That redstone comparator, both of these, then turn on a AND gate, which turns on redstone here, which then turns off these redstone torches. Once they turn off these redstone torches, we've got a little U shape here with redstone. Then we've got a redstone repeater going into a block with a redstone torch on top of that. So we're using a T flip flop with an AND gate to make sure that when we get two positive outputs, it puts it into a single uh, input. So guys, then in this command block here, we've now got chain command blocks. So for the first one, we're going to open it, and this is going to be a block type impulse. The condition is going to be unconditional. The redstone is going to be on needs redstone. It's going to be off on execute first tick, and the delaying ticks is going to be one second. Now guys, listen up here because we are going to get into some execute commands. Execute commands can be a little difficult for people to understand, so make sure you listen closely. So we're going to click... click on command input here and we're going to do execute space at e open square bracket name equals tpa except channel one in quotation marks then close the square bracket now guys this part here that i'm going to show you let me just go over to it this part here guys uh, where we've got the three tilde marks this is just showing relative coordinates to that entity called tpa except channel one so once we do the relative coordinates we're then going to title at p open square bracket r equals three close square bracket space action bar and then you can do teleporting in three seconds you can do this little uh, this part here where it says teleport in three seconds or teleport in one second however you want now guys we're going to repeat that step just again but in this time we're going to do block type chain Condition, conditional, the redstone is always active, and it's going to execute on a 20 tick delay. Then, guys, we're going to repeat the same command that we did before, which is execute at E, open square bracket, name equals TPA except channel 1, close square bracket, at relative coordinates, title at P, open square bracket, R equals 3, close square bracket, action bar, 
and then teleport in two. Now guys, I'm going to explain this command real quick uh, of what it's doing. So it's executing the piece of paper um, or whatever you've got uh, as called TPA accept. Um, and then it's grabbing the relative coordinates of that piece of paper. So it's seeing where that piece of paper is. Once it finds the coordinates of where that piece of paper is, it's then titling the nearest player in a radius of three blocks. And then it's doing the title action bar. So then it's um, printing on screen that text in the action bar area, which is just above your hotbar. Then guys, we're going to go on to the next command block here. And it's going to be block type chain, condition, conditional, redstone always active, execute on first tick 20. I'm going to repeat it once again. And that is teleporting in one. Then guys, for the last time, it's going to be the exact same block type chain, condition, conditional, redstone always active and 20 tick delay. Then guys, the exact same uh, command, uh, just this time it's just saying teleporting. Now guys, this is where we change for the last three blocks. When we open this, we're going to look at the block type is going to be chain. The condition is going to be conditional. The redstone is going to be always active and it's going to execute on a 30 tick delay. For the command input, we're going to have execute at E, open square bracket, name equals TPA except channel one. So the relative coordinates of that entity, then we're going to T teleport or TP, the nearest player in a radius of three blocks at E, open square bracket, name equals TPA here, channel one, close square bracket. Make sure those TPA accept and TPA here is in quotation marks. Otherwise, the command block will not see it as spaces and it will read it as a syntax error. So, guys, make sure, you've ha make sure you have the TPA accept channel 1 for the nearest player to be TP'd to TPA here. Now, guys, when we go into the next one, this is where we just kill them. So, now we're just going to kill at E, open square bracket, name equals TPA here, channel 1, close square bracket. And here we're just going to kill at E, name equals TPA except channel 1. Now guys, all of these are going to be on a zero tick delay. So for the kill ones, they're going to be on zero tick. And for the execute where you TP, that's also going to be on 30 tick delay. So guys, that is it. If you want to re-watch the video, then you can. If you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on how to do different channels, then I will. That's going to be a little longer. I'm trying to keep the videos nice and short right now. And also, guys, we do have a new spawn coming out very, very soon. As you guys can see, this is going to be our new spawn. It's really, really cool. We've got some brand new crates coming to the realm. So I do hope I can see you on the new update of the realm. Just keep in mind the realm is under construction right now. And we are having some bugs on the realm at the moment as well. Also, for people not joining. But when the new realm comes out, that should be fixed. As always, guys, if you want to join my Discord, it is on the right of the screen, as you guys can see. And the owner of the realm and also the YouTube channel is Solus Reap YT, which is me. So if you want to message me, then go right ahead. I love talking to my subscribers. And if you need any help with the commands that you've seen in today's tutorial, then message me and tell me what I could do better. Or if you need help, then let me know and I'll be down to help you with the command. Anyway, guys, it has been your boy Solus. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.